Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos uh, Gate. No, it is Rogue Trader time. I was on my way to the ship, uh, continuing our blind playthrough on unfair difficulty, uh, as I ran into Heinrichs, uh, who said, Lord Captain, respectfully. Uh, on an interrogator, what a surprise. Did you perchance leave something in your cabin? Not at all, First Officer Viserion. I'm not in the habit of uh, leaving a trail, but thank you for your concern. Pleased to see you again, Heinrichs. I'm glad to hear that my presence aboard your ship did not leave you with anything unpleasant memories. I hope your disposition won't charge once I explain the reason for my visit. I was able to contact my mentor and report the tragic events transpired in the Ricus Minoris. I also received some information from my agents regarding the movement and actions of the enemy of humanity, including the Xenos that we are assuming were involved in the theft of a star. According to their findings, the threat now hangs over other worlds. This time is yours, Lord Captain. By the order of the Lord Inquisitor Xavier Kalzar, uh, Kal Sazar, uh, whose duty is to stand the sentinel over the Coronos Expanse, the rogue trader of uh, House Van Valencius, is to take on board the agent of the Most Holy Inquisition and provide escort and supply in deeds great and small that serve the safeguarding of the territory of the Imperium against the enemy. This, is, uh, this decree is effective immediately upon announcement and remains in effect until decided otherwise by His El Excellency. Idira Saigo, all I got from this is ridding ourselves of a snitch won't be easy. Heinrich, would you mind translating the torrent into verbiage just that you unloaded on me? The Lord Inquisitor has deemed that my presence aboard your ship and your retinue would be significantly more beneficial to the fight against the heresy and evil than my return to my mentor's side. Our parting before our arrival in footfall was premature. What exactly caused the need to rejoin the crew? The cause is uh, the activity of humanity's enemy, including the cult of the final dawn. In my absence, the situation on the corona expanse has changed. I have received exhaustive reports from my agents. This heresy has taken root of the region where the Van Valencius worlds lie. You probably already know about the fate of the industrial world Kiava Gamma. If not, um, I will share the details I know, but not here. Um, uh, I, Rogue Trigger, the Psychon of Valencius, welcome the agent of the Golden Throne aboard my ship and take the responsibility of assisting him in the fight against uh, those who threaten humanity. An answer befitting a righteous service of the Emperor. If your duty uh, on board of the Rogue Trader ship once more, then such is the Emperor's will. Welcome back, interrogator. Thank you, sister. Finally. I like him better than Iridia. Um, we got a nice... Um, uh, agent of uh, the Inquisition, so an Inquisitor. We got a Navigator, we got a Tech Priest, we got a Sister of Battle. That's like a really cool uh, team. Arborant is a little bit uh, too much of a basic bitch. Uh, to round out that team, a Space Marine would be perfect, but um, yeah, you can't have it all. I doubt that there are any Space Marines that would join us. I do hope to find time to finish our conversation Good. Uh, that is everything for the time being. Are you heading to your ship or do you still have business on football? Whatever the case is, I can wait for you. Uh, okay, sorry Iridia. Welcome Heinrichs. We cool. Alright, let me do the level up and uh, then we're continuing with Heinrichs in the team. Nice, very nice. Of course, before I can level up, a little bit of cinematics. Voxmaster Vigidus, Lord Captain, the inspections of this ship system is complete. The tech priests are responding to the machine uh, uh, spirit and are calm and satisfied. Everything is ready for onward travel, except there is an issue that I've been made aware of. Cassia says, I've been studying the records left by the vessel's previous navigator. I wanted to double check 
uh, a route to Dra uh, Dragonus and discovered that it does not match the one recorded in Atlas. It's more of a minor warp fluctuation. The route has been wiped out. I can no longer use it for traveling. To make matters worse, it started to check the paths from Atlas one after the other and saw that something, uh, same thing everywhere. The warp is roiling with an ominous storm, busting with vivid and screaming colors. It will not hinder our movement, but all previous knowledge is utterly useless. Warp storms are our enemy, just like heretics and demons. Okay, what consequences uh, of losing contact with these worlds would be? A world deprived of a connection to its neighboring systems can only rely on itself and the capabilities are often limited. For example, Jonas does not have a fleet on its own, pirates, cultists and heretics could prey on the planet. Loss of communication is a threat to our position. Rogue trader with no protection to back them up grows weaker by the day. The Vox uh, master is entirely correct. You are rogue trader. Uh, Psychon Van Valencia is the successor of Theodora, one of the most influential women on this side of the Maw. But uh, you also are new to the business of governing. Uh, many will doubt your competences and try to carve into your protectorate. Tell me about Janus. That's the agri world, right? Yeah, the surface was altered extensively um, and could be designated as an agri world. It is a powerful food base capable of supplying the burgeoning protectorate uh, with exporting provisions to other worlds. Uh, Janus owes uh, much of its prosperity to Governor House of Viat. Under the leadership, the world has grown even more prosperous year after year. Kiava Gamma, on the other hand, is an industrial world, uh, being managed by the Governor House of Garpek and supplied your protectorate with rare minerals and resources. Planet features an Adeptus Mechanicus, Manifactarum, and process material for shipment. I testify that Kiava Gamma is a world marked by the Omnisire's patronage. In his grace, uh, the Manifactarum of the colonies are inhibited by committed and industrial machine spirits. All right, Heinrich is uh, saying Mistress Toleman neglected to mention that the Kiavagama Manufacturum also supplies heavy machinery from forage harvesters to vessel systems. Cool. Uh, what do I need to know about Dragonus? Dragonus is the heart and soul of your prot uh, protectorate. It is where your main administrative resources and storage uh, facilities are. It's uh, the Ven Velasius Palace. If uh, you would like uh, like to know, there is where you uh, publicly accept the title of Rogue Trader. Uh, Dragon is a major administrative hub uh, that uh, runs uh, for cargo uh, fleet and keeps track of your finances. Uh, very well, our course is clear. That's all we have at the moment. Fantastic. Good. Just wanted to not deprive you of that information. Uh, I will continue leveling up and then we're going back to the station. All right, so we got our act together. Time uh, to speak Embrace with Hieronymus Doloso, Dolo Rosso. The requests have been fulfilled and the, sh uh, the guys have been cleared out. All right, is it true that um, I'd like to talk about uh, what you have to offer uh, me, but apparently we are, as always, not rich enough. So no matter what we're doing, we need profit factor. We need profit factor, plenty thereof. All right, what are the other things that we can do here? Wanted uh, on footfall, help Ray to get the cargo back, and that's what we shall do. Ray looks like she might be a companion, getting companion vibes from her. We are going back to the Shadow Quarters, and there also has been still that mind of uh, or that uh, sealed off area which we wanted to explore where there seems to be kind of a, a disease outbreak of sorts so we need to figure that out as well 
I tread a path unexplored. Good. I personally think it's potentially somewhere here. The world trembles beneath Oh yeah, well it even feet. says warehouse. Never mind. Never mind. Let us see what I found. Good. I'm here. What a joy. Follow me. Okay, we are, we're going to follow you in a second, uh, but not before I double check that our setup is correct. And as per the usual, I found things that are not correct. Let's seize the opportunity. For all I know, we might be just walking right into a trap. Lord Captain, do you think this enterprise is wise? I wouldn't be surprised if this all turns out to be a trap. I concur with Master Viserion. This place reminds me of the maintenance modules on Urak 5. All the colors are so... Grubby. Okay, well, well, well. Time to leave my mark upon the galaxy. If we can shoot things. One step closer. Okay, that's a good start. Go and take some damage. <coughs> I will triumph. I need no guidance. I reject the very idea. I will triumph. That was too far away. Purpose guides me. Yep, that was good. All right, finally some action. Abelard moves up. Heinrich supports him. Pascal might be starting here. Where do we set up our combat line? That's a good question. Full cover makes it a bit harder to work with it, but I think Saiken should be in the center together with our Battle of uh, Sister of Battle. Magenta takes. F yeah, hmm. All of this is also full cover. She didn't have a great start, uh, starting position, but it should be fine. We can at least shoot. Alright, let's give it a go. Pascal sets up the back line to exactly here. Alright, front line is set up there. Run 
sniping can happen over there. Okay, then we're moving into our own <coughs> into our own protection. Scouting all of them. Following up with a nice hit. Which not only kills him, but also almost fully removes cover. Expose this guy and... Yeah, we're not in range, but that's fine. We're just giving ourselves a little bit more cover. We're good. Alright, Argenta. That's the point where we're going to see whether or not... We have a good, uh, a good enough position. So if we position ourselves here, that I think would be a good start. Could move all the way up here, but that would uh, expose us quite a bit. Let's see. After Argenta. Let's stay here for now. That is full cover. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. I am seeing the fire in your heart. Do Don't it. you worry. Might be a kill. As the Emperor commands, I act. Let's hit the bandit hitman. The, weak. the ones in the back I'll do it. are the most annoying ones. And we have two stacks of versatility. It's as good as it gets from the start. Out of my way. <laughs> At your back and call. All right, we're moving up with Abelard. It will be done. Taunting. This guy is taunted. This guy might be taunted. We don't know. This guy is definitely taunted. Cool. So. At your back and call. Um, that and that and that. And we're hitting. Which is good. I don't need to sprint anywhere. This guy has a big gun. So let's put him as our sworn enemy. Meaning he will have a harder time hitting us. And Abelard uh, is standing in the middle of everyone. That's fabulous. I like what I'm seeing. Aside. We're the moving to here, half coming. cover. I think. Oh no 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 no! This here is a poisonous. Uh uh. No, we're not doing that. That, on the other hand, looks almost too good to pass on. I'm not accustomed to it around. Couple of explosions definitely take away of uh, their cover. Heinrich gets a buff. If I may. And Me? 
there is a nice little attack of opportunity trick that I wanted to do anyways. More enemies are coming in. Let's get to it. Time to slaughter someone. Here we go. All right, listen. The word of the Emperor protects, and it really does. Abelard needs some melee protection. And none of these guys are Xenos, apparently. Well, we could go in and slash someone. I'm not sure if Heinrich should do that yet. We're still good where we are. So I think what we could do is... Just dish out some damage. Let's see to it. I mean, 22 points of damage is pretty respectable, to be fair. And he does have 75 base lethality. Um, assassin's base lethality equals dodge or dodge reduction, whichever is higher. Okay. This one it will be good. Look at all of these fools. Good. I will triumph. Here we go. I need no guidance. I will delight my masters with your demise. Fantastic. I will triumph. I will not stoop to this. Purpose guides me. Good, are we getting versatility stacks here? Yeah, cycling is at two versatility as well. That was important to me. Good, another plasma shot. Uh, that's not good. Pascal really needs to make sure that he's not overloading himself. Uh, that was not good. Let's make it quick. Nice little stun grenade. Another stun grenade. My frail organics require this. All right, Pascal. Hmm. And it overheats the weapon. Why can't I see whether or not the weapon is overheated? for two turns. Well, we can't shoot AOE attacks for two turns. That's a given. Well, that was still decent damage. Uh, what are we going to do? 
Uh, he already has a good position. I think we're just going to protect ourselves a little bit uh, more. And we're making them more hittable. Revert to more conservative tactics. Level art. Um, moves Tried to here. Tested tactics are the best ones. Heals himself. The healing is much appreciated. Tries to stay as duty. tanky as possible and get this guy down because his weapon was just too much. Art gets some more healing. Isn't this a job for the painted A little bit more lidless stairs. I'm not accustomed to being and helping around. Argenta so that she can deal damage. Here we go. Die, Just die, a minor setback. All right, Heinrich. Four starters. Next for that. I won't object to it. And we're giving everybody support. I would love to heal you. Yeah, Avalar needs healing. We're okay. We're still okay. move up that would be dangerous I might need a ranged weapon on him I might need a ranged weapon on him yeah we're at 8 and I still want to use Saiken so uh, how much would this year do that's also a respectable amount of damage Openings are fine. I think I'll just... Uh-oh. He's just executed that. That was not so good. Hmm. Not good. We're healing ourselves. And we're continuing with uh, shooting nice little laser beams. That unfortunately haven't hit anyone, but we're getting versatility up. Jay moves up and has a pretty nice uh, burst. Pasco needs to heal himself. I think we're just standing. Are we taking gas damage here? All right, Pasco just moves over here because I don't want that to affect us. Good. Shooting at this guy. 95% shot missed. 
We're taking a shooting position. Okay, cool. Argent down. The enemies of the Emperor will Finally. be undone. As the Emperor commands, I <laughs> is by Takes this guy. Continue to take him. In thy light I stand, and thy light I crave. And we're just continuing to <laughs> dish out damage. Faith without deeds is for you, my emperor. I will not. All right, moves to here. It will be done. Taunts this guy. Uh, he's taunted. He will attack Abelard. At your back and call. It will be done. I will do my duty. And we're hitting the servitor. Fantastic, Cassia. Hmm. Four starters. Saika needs a buff. And since there is not so much AoE left, I, am a navigator, I would almost not a just help him getting his stuff straight. Purpose guides me. Fantastic. We finally got four versatility stacks. I like that. And we're asking that servitor to come a little bit closer. Brace yourself, Avalon. All right, Heinrich uh, gives everybody. But of course, Lord Captain. Defenses, very good. Moves out of uh, the shitty area. Opens this guy up and uh, hits him for extra damage, as a true assassin would. Good job. Well done, Heinrich. I will triumph. Servitor takes damage. One step closer. And single target streams unfortunately really do not uh, offer versatility. That is really Let's unfortunate. Make it quick. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing. I should take versatility simply as a as a buff, not as a necessity to do that. Now I'm really riled up. Good, starting to do that and that, and we can finally use our AOE again. Request denied. And then we're good. As the Emperor commands, I act. Hit and take another hit, Eradicated. and we're good. What a mess! Thank the throne didn't come uh, with just the three of us. Yep, yeah, you would have got it your ass handed to yourself. Shut up and kid, move and core. We just need to open the passage into the tunnels. Let our guys in. Jay, on your signal. If these Archmages dare to touch my cargo, two, three, five, thank the Exalted One, those Archmags. 
uh, Ash Max didn't have the time to take off anything with them yet. Give me two minutes, Shireen. I'll send the coordinates to my loyal crew who will deliver the property to some myself. We're good. Now, uh, how about we relocate to a more pleasant private space to discuss the details of our deal, specifically payment for, for your efforts. All right, let's go. She opens her mouth um, when you hear the sound of many footsteps behind you. Vladimir's agents, stop right there in the name of the Liege. Your Excellency, please forgive uh, my vehemence, most noble psyche, and I never expected to encounter such uh, eminent person in a corner of a footfall. I'm Vladimir Tolkar's personal agent. I came here to remove uh, from criminal circulation a shipment, the distribution of which is banned in the lights of footfall. Horrendous uh, Xeno heresy that has been fraudulently delivered to a bastion of the Holy Imperium. I do not doubt for a moment, most mobile psychon, that you and the present here are merely a misunderstanding. Uh, it's, too, uh, it's too great of accordance that the liege representative should arrive in the Shadow Quarters just after Jay has recovered her rightful spoils. It seems that the guards reported the problem with the shipment over the box, and not just um, anyone but the liege's personal agent, K. Um... Uh, J. Haydari is the owner of this cargo. I, pre uh, I presently and uh, presently under my protection, under Rogue Trader's protection. Tell your master that he should think twice before crossing her for now. And don't forget him to tell him that I'm not mad, but I collect the debt sometimes. Uh, I wish you could see Vladimir's face when he uh, finds out that he stepped on the wrong toes. Uh, listen, Saigon, I'm genuinely sorry about the confusion. Uh, Vladam and I have had our difficulties, but I never thought uh, he'd want to clean me out and do away with me in some dark corner, at least not so soon. And yes, my shipment contains Xeno artifacts, possession of which the death sentence for any commoner. But you, Shireen, do not strike me as a commoner. If I told you directly, you would have become, shall we say, complicit. Um, but since those illicit words did not escape my lips, you would merely uh, be agreeing to help an unfortunate soul to recapture uh, a few containers. My sin uh, sincerest wish was to protect you from any, any unnecessary trouble, of course. The statement is true, with the exception that you yourself are an uh, uneducated laywoman and a thief who out uh, to stay away from the techno uh, technological perversities of non-humans. All right. Uh, a rogue trader could use someone with your talents, Jay. I would like to see you in my uh, retinue. Exalted one, bless you and your entire dynasty. I wouldn't say no to making an oca uh, occasion properly. It's not every day that you embark on a brilliant new business partnership. All right. Uh, either way, I'm totally willing to join your retinue for now. Um, uh, from now on, my knowledge and expertise are at entirely at your disposal, and we get to profit factor. Oh, and one more thing, if you're interested, rather lucrative offer, one can give the Valentian Protectorate a leg up. I'd say now isn't the time to be thinking about such things, uh, but when we're back on your ship. Okay, so she is good to go. And we have a pair of new boots. Three movement points, that's good, that's fantastic. Uh, who needs to be fast? I think our assassin does. So there you go, extra movement points, you're welcome. Wow, what a mess. We solidly cleaned everything out. What an absolute mess. Intriguing. 
Wait, what was that? Pair holster. Once per turn, when the warrior scores a critical hit with a pistol, the next attack with a pistol costs nothing. Ooh. That's not bad, but it needs to be a pistol. Does anyone have a pistol? We got a shotty. Is that a pistol? It's a gun. Alright, but I think she does have a pistol, so I will keep it for her. With so many companions, what I, I think is if we get explored. more along the way, I'll just do a second uh, group. Like a first group that is super dogmatic and the second one that is a little bit more heretical. The world trembles beneath my feet. Okay, very good. So that uh, was uh, that. Wow, so many quests. I'm starting to lose track of them. Starting to lose track of them. Uh, what I can say though is uh, we've done a good job this time to get all of the stuff. And I think it's a, a great opportunity for us to uh, end today's episode here. I'll just pick up uh, the remainder and we're going to take it from here uh, the next time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We got Jay as a companion. If you want to be a companion of this channel, then now is the right time to hit that like button and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.